Mission Viejo puts on a show for the home crowd in their home opener. And Aliso Niguel not shy on offense on the road. It's all next on South County Sports Zone. Hi everyone, welcome to South County Sports Zone. We are inside the MVTV studio in Mission Viejo. I'm Gordon Spencer. Third ranked Mission Viejo football continued their perfect 2019 season with great offense and some very stingy defense, giving up just 10 points per game. Head coach Chad Johnson saying this is the best defense he has been around in his coaching career. We caught up with the coach before the Diablos home opener. Well, you know, we're, we're very excited. We played week zero in Hawaii, so we'll kind of start our, our season off early. Um, and then we had two road games. The Santa Margarita game was at Chibuco Hills High School, so really not a true road game. It's right down the street. Last week going to La Habra, I was very happy. Definitely a tough place to play. A little bit of a long, longer travel there. Um, and so, we, you know, we, we played well, uh, especially defensively, and came out with a big win. Uh, we're really excited to be at home. Our student body is excited for their first home game to come out here and cheer and be a great student section uh, and, and to be at Mission Vale in this, in this phenomenal facility. Hopefully we play well tonight. I think coach is going to like what he sees in this one. Villa Park visiting Mission Viejo. Villa Park number one in Division 4 beat Tribuqua Hills 42-0 the week before. Mission Viejo number three in Orange County. 3-0 coming into the home opener. First quarter, first play for Mission Viejo. Jacquez Robertson on his way. 67 yards before he just steps out of bounds. They mark him down at the 13. So Mission Viejo takes two plays. Peter Costelli to Maven Anderson, 13 yards to the corner, 22 seconds into the game, two plays, 7-0 Mission Viejo. The Mission Viejo defense been tough all year long. Lance Kennelly taken down the quarterback, the sack. Then watch David Meyer untouched up the middle. More pressure on a third and sixth play. We'll see a lot of Meyer in the first half. Mission Diego turns that into points. On the takeaway first, Castelli to Chase Nenad. 35-yard pass. Couple plays later, Robertson. One-yard touchdown with 145 left in the first. 14-0 Mission Viejo after one. Second quarter, Mission Viejo on a third and eight. Peter Castelli, Chase Nenad. Good at shaking some tackles. He goes for 35 yards. Then RJ Lopez, the best kicker in Orange County, nails a 44 yarder. It's 17 to nothing, Diablos. Phillip Park having a tough time getting the offense going. Bad snap. Punter, great job getting it off, but it only goes a few yards. It's down at the 23. So Peter Costelli, we're in the reverse. Josh Wills can't quite sneak all the way in there. He's down at the one. So Tyson Scott will get the finish. He leaps in for the one yard score. 24-0 Mission Viejo. Next mission, uh, Villa Park possession. David Meyer at the 25. The far left of your screen there. He grabs it. Touchdown Diablos. 31-0 Mission Viejo. 247 left. Then it's David Meyer the defensive star, look at the juggling act, the interception, and he's at the 18 yard line. Then it's Castelli to Maven Anderson, back of the end zone, what a grab. 122 left in the half, 38 nothing, Mission Viejo. They scored 24 points in six minutes to end the half. Robertson, 119 yards with two touchdowns, Bill Park, Minus 22 yards rushing in the Mission Viejo 59 to nothing win. They are now 4 and 0. Elisa Niguel traveling to Santa Ana. Both teams 2 and 1 coming into this game. Elisa Niguel won the matchup 42-21 last season at the bowl. First quarter, first drive for Aliso. Three-yard touchdown. Kyle Kickelhan to Caleb Peterson. Back in the end zone. 7-0 Aliso. Second drive. Aliso's Kickelhan to Kane Ross. 
Kikohan getting out of the pocket. Ross waiting for him right there. 40 yard touchdown. 14 to nothing. Elisa Nagel. Elisa Nagel on defense. The pass by Aldo Leva tipped into the arms and intercepted by Aliso Nagel. Aliso able to take advantage. Kickelhan to Connor McIntosh after another scramble and he is wide open. McIntosh, 85 yards later, extra point failed. It's 20 to nothing, Aliso after one. Kickelhan, 203 yards and three touchdowns in the first quarter. Second quarter, good Aliso defense. Santa Ana on fourth down, the sack by Connor Aragon. Then Aliso back on offense. Kickelhan to Peterson. Up the middle. Peterson, a couple of moves, gets down into the red zone. And a couple of plays later, Kickelhan keeps it for the one yard touchdown, the push into the end zone, 27 to nothing. Aliso, 542 left in the half. More defense, Aliso's Jordan Keach wrestling down. Aldo Leva, the quarterback. Then with 324 left in the half, Kickelhan hooks up with Kane Ross again. Look at Kickelhan move out of the pocket, call for a location. Ross catches it, he's gone. 60 yards for the touchdown, 34 to nothing, Aliso. Then with 32 seconds left in the half, Santa Ana gets on the board. Damian Felice up the sideline, shaking a couple of tackles, fighting his way in. 30 yards for the score. Saints down 34-7 at the half. Nice entertainment by the Santa Ana marching band. Third quarter, more Aliso. Kyle Kickelhan keeping drives alive. Look at him shaking off tacklers, turning the corner. Keeps it upfield, 20 yards later, gets the first down, knocked out of bounds. Then Kickelhan. Little play action to Noah Sudica. 15 yards, touchdown Aliso. And they took a 41 to seven lead late in the third quarter. And they go on to win this one, 48 to 35. Kickelhan, what a night, 354 yards. And five touchdowns, Aliso Miguel improves to three and one. In other scores, Tribuco Hills made a quick turnaround in week number three after getting shut out the week before. The Mustangs beat El Toro in a rivalry game, 55 to 14. Capo Valley lost at home to Yorba Linda, 29 to 14. The Cougars now two and two. Great matchup though on September 20th, a city battle. Three and one Tribuco Hills travels to Capo Valley in a non-league matchup. Sports Zone will be there. That should be a fun one. It's break time. When we come back, we head to the pool for some top ranked boys water polo. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is riding your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. As of September 9th, the CIF Southern Section polls have Mission Viejo number one in Division Five in boys water polo. Tribuco Hills ranked number three in Division Five. We look forward to that league matchup in the coming weeks. In the meantime, preparations continue with pre-league play. Mission Viejo hosting University out of Irvine. The Trojans perfect on the season. Mission Viejo has lost two in a row. First period, Mission Viejo down 1-0 early. Ryan Talone looking, firing at the angle. Mission Viejo ties it at one. Uni takes the lead back. Matt Wallen going down low, able to pop it in. Uni up by a score of two to one. Then Mission Viejo's Victor Plesco. Matt Rodriguez, game tied again, it's 2-2. Second period, 
Mission Viejo takes its first lead. Caden Kendall, Matt Rodriguez, front and center, 3-2. Mission Viejo, game stays close. Uni's Stuart Campbell gets a handle on it and scores to tie it at three. Uni takes the lead back on a penalty. Stuart Campbell, the lefty, 4-3 Uni at the half. Mission Viejo coach Kevin Mitchell in a tight match looking for an offensive run. Tied at four now. Mission Viejo's Matt Rodriguez, Jude Gallagher, one-timer, 5-4 Mission Viejo. Nice play by the Diablos. Good goaltending. Mission Viejo's Joe Carlucci. Nice save, keeping it 5-4 Mission Viejo. Tied at six, end of the third. Riley Kirkpatrick. The bouncer goal, University up seven to six. Fourth period, it's Uni again, Kirkpatrick. Luke Norcatis spins and fires. Uni its biggest lead, nine to seven. Here comes Mission Viejo. Caden Kendall, Matt Rodriguez. Looking, strong shot, Mission Viejo down, nine eight. Then again, it's number two, Mission Viejo. Off the cross pass, same spot to tie it at nine. But Uni has the last word. Riley Kirkpatrick, good timing and the goal. And University holds on to win a wild one. Went back and forth all game long. The final score, University 10, Mission Viejo nine. Rodriguez had four goals for Mission Viejo. Los Alamitos ranked number 18 in the Division 1-2 in CIF, visiting Aliso Niguel. Los Al 0-3 though to start the season. Aliso's won three of their last four. First period tied at one. Kyle Knight, Kobe Escobar, Zach Morcos gives the Wolverines a 2-1 lead. 2-2 now and Los Alamitos' Jack Ryan from the middle puts the Griffins up 3-2. Los Al goes up by two. Caleb Francisco, Caden Chen, angle goal, 4-2 Griffins. Alisa Niguel comes back, Ryan Casey. Zach Morcos gathers, bounces it in to tie it at four after one. Second period, tied at five. Caleb Francisco, wow, from way out. What a shot, 6-5, Los Al. Back and forth in the first half. Elisa Niguel's Kyle Knight. The corner to tie it at six. Los Al gets a couple before the half. Jack Ryan, one-time shot, far corner, 8-6. Los Al at the half. John Puffer and the Wolverines keeping it close. Third period, Elisa Niguel goalie Ben Hooper trying to fight off. The Losal offense, nice save, stopping the shot. The Losal goes on a 4-0 run. Lucas Torgerson, top corner, gets it to trickle in. 10-6, Griffins. Elisa Niguel down six now. They get their first goal in the second half. Brian Lynch, Kyle Knight, 12-7, Losal. Fourth period, Losal's Colin Maples skips it in, 14-8. Griffins, Elisa Niguel trying to battle back. Zach Morcos, Ethan Sherlock, the shot. Aliso down five, but Losal puts in two more to end this one. Devin Brett from way out, and the Los Alamitos Griffins come to Elisa Niguel and beat the Wolverines by a final score of 17 to 10. Chen and Ryan, four goals each for Losal, 13 saves for Nash in goal for Losal. I mentioned at the start of the segment that Mission Viejo is ranked number one in Division 5 and Tribuco Hills number three. The two Mission Viejo teams will meet in Seaview League play on Tuesday, September 24th at Tribuco Hills. South County Sports Zone plans to be there. That's it for this episode. Tell your friends, post videos and photos at your games, and use those hashtags. Log on to cityofmissionviejo.org forward slash MVTV or cityofalisoviejo.com for all of the episodes. Thanks for watching. I'm Gordon Spencer.